do it. It must be 5 a.m. somewhere on this beautiful, beautiful day in July, excuse me, June, June 6th, want to rush the month, and uh, we hope that you're starting off the month extremely well. We do this for all of our brothers and sisters that are in major account, key account, up and down the street, in-home sales, retail sales in general, and automotive sales. So you're trying to get ready to get to work, so let's just get into it. Today, I'd like to talk about the strategy that should do the trick. And here's where I'm going. There are no shortage of instructional sales books. There's plethora of them out there. In fact, there are probably too many. The difficulty with most of the books that trend to teach you how to follow a process of structure and stability are pretty limited to our ability as human beings to think on your feet or adjust to a dynamic situation. We fall short many times in these areas, I believe. A little bit of structure, selling isn't a bad thing, but following steps that someone has designed to sell to a certain type of buyer isn't going to provide a perfect fit for every situation. The reality is there are a few basic steps that you can take to move light years ahead of the rest. Keywords being basic, that has little to do with the project or service that you're selling. In fact, it has been said it's nothing to do with anything but you. You're the star of the story. The person on the other side of the desk is watching you. The person on the Zoom is watching you. In other words, where's your value moving forward in this conversation? So selling hasn't very altered that well over the decades and centuries. Selling's been very little to do with selling itself. But selling the person on the product or services that you sell. We've all done that, including yourself. People most buy products in a business setting because they like the person that they're buying from, not necessarily because they have the best product or value proposition. So are you saying that value starts with the sales consultant? Yes. I'm not suggesting that you have the worst product in your market and easily dominate with your sales genius, although it does happen sometime, your product should be at least as competitive of your competition. If they're not, you need to figure out how to improve them to start asking yourself some serious questions. Why do I choose to sell this terrible product that, that that would come into my mind state it into your soul let's share from here we all know that you only get one opportunity to make a good first impression so i'll skip the boring motivational speech on that but it's how you take advantage of the opportunity that will start you down the path of separating yourself from the others that's what it's all about forget about those other people that came before me here's my different 
show just to you. Your first interaction with the person to whom you're intended to sell at first sight, but you can't make eye contact. You must stare into the soul as if there were the most important person you ever met. And that's a trait that some people don't understand yet. You see, when you see them lock into their eyes on you and do not look away, they may look away and that's okay, but you shouldn't even blink if you can help it. You must, I repeat, you must maintain eye contact in all of your dealings with decision makers. This may take some practice on your part, but it does a couple of important things. It excludes confidence and tells them that you're important. You are important because you're not looking at anyone or anything else, just you. Genuine smile, you heard of that. Pandemic is starting to roll back. People are going without their masks, especially if they've had the vac vaccination shot, so people can see your smiles again. This is one of the most simple but understanding things you can do in sales. As soon as you see the person lock in eye contact with you, smile. Smile. Now, don't smile like it's somebody's birthday and you're finally getting to the Lego spaceship you've always wanted, but like you're generally interested in the person that you are meeting. It all starts with you. When people talk about any selling process, well, it's the person that's representing themselves, their organization. How would you, as an entrepreneur, want to be seen in a first meeting? We already said that from school, you've had classes, you've heard that people in the first few minutes sum up if they're going to move forward with you or not. I was sitting in with a vendor who threw me a pitch and I said, well, let me take you to a VP and see what happens. His pitch fell apart. He was looking more at me in the room than the decision maker for the product or service he wanted to sell to our organization. Be confident. That comes with practice. Smile. That's free. Knowing your product and understanding of how it's going to fit into their world. That's king. But we'll talk about those things on tomorrow. So, Brad and Hardison, President of Champion Strategies, with a little Hardison's tip for today on this beautiful third day of June of 2021. And as always in parting, you go out there and you make it a champion.